Hello everybody, this is the follow-up to the past couple of projects. I have not done one of these in a while, in a while, in a while. Haven't done one of these in a while. I don't know why I can't speak. But the last week's project video was... Every week I try to remember what it was that I made it. I never can. Jeez, that drives me crazy. It will come to me eventually. So I'm just going to jump to something else to talk about because I'm just having a mental block. I don't know why. Um, something pretty cool happened today. I had one of the giveaway winners. Um, that's what it was. I had the giveaway. Okay. Okay. The giveaway video was last Friday. I can't remember what the project was, but the giveaway went well. Almost all of the prizes are shipped out. A lot of the sandpaper packs went out. And two people didn't claim sandpaper packs. And the winner of the Ultimate Sanding System, Mike Jewell, didn't claim it either. And you know, that is a like a $50 value, so he's missing out, you know, that just gets on my nerves. It's like, if you entered it, it's your responsibility to check, if to see if you won. And you know, he did, and he didn't didn't get back. So it's been a few days now, and it, it just gets on my nerves. But that already went out to another one of the entries who won it at the random drawing. I emailed him, and just, it's his now. So the two sandpaper packs, I believe I'm going to also do a redraw or something like that or I'll come up with something to get rid of those and almost everything else went and I have a funny story a funny mean people story to share I get all the emails from the prize winners and I had a feeling that this may happen I get an email from somebody who just says I won who is this so I respond hi what did you win and what is your name and address they respond, I'm a winner of your giveaway. Mike H here. Mike H was one of the winners. It was one of the names drawn. I'm like, oh, well, okay. I don't know why Mike is being so shifty. Later on that night, I get another email from a different email, a guy named Mike Hopkins, who says, hi, thanks so much. Mike H here. My name and address is yada yada, thanks for drawing me, and it was a well it was a well written, thoughtful email. So I'm like, well who is this other person? I go back and do some brief research about Gmail accounts and them linked to um, the usernames drawn, and the second guy who emailed me, Mike Hopkins, was the real Mike Hopkins, and somebody else who didn't win anything was claiming to be him so that they can win a sandpaper pack. I mean, really why would you do that? That's just kind of deceitful, to say the least. You know, it's just kind of low, low class. So, I don't know. I guess that's where, I guess that's how people act nowadays. That's just not fair. And I had a feeling it was going to happen. I don't know. I had it in my head that it would be so easy just for somebody to email and say, oh, I'm that person. Hey, that's my prize. And thinking that I wouldn't know the difference. But I was able to tell who was who because the real Mike Hopkins was... Um, a Gmail account that was linked to the other person's account and I was able to tell that that was the name drawn and thank God for that if that was a like a Yahoo or like a Comcast account I would not been able to tell and I I don't know what I would do then so whoever the heck claimed to be that I'm disappointed in you that wasn't nice uh, but anyways that all went well and I think I was saying earlier about one of the giveaway winners before I remembered what last week's video was Anyways, let's just jump back on that bunny trail. One of the other giveaway winners, um, Ken C. Main was his username, Ken Cunningham. He won a peppermill kit, and he sent me an email saying, thanks so much, yada yada, I like your videos. And he said that he lives, um, I'm not going to name the city, but he lives just like 15 minutes from my shop. So he offered to drive out here. I said, oh, thank God, that will save me a lot of time trying to package this thing and pay money for shipping if you just live 10 minutes away so yeah he just came on down today and we chatted i showed him the shop he said he liked my channel and he even brought me two big pieces of walnut and a slab of maple wood for like a platter or something so thank you ken i really appreciate that and you know you're a, you're you're a pretty cool guy that was that was really nice of you to do you went out of the way and that was cool so thanks um anyways i did get stickers in the mail and I am just going to simply allude to them. Here are the stickers. And I'm not, whoop, I'm not going to put them up yet. I'm just going to let you guys wonder for right now. Because 
I've actually orchestrated like I think 10 or more sticker trades just within the past week. So I will have a ton more coming in and I'm just I'm just going to wait until I can just put them all up at once. And I think I'm just going to try to get even more sticker swaps going on and just do a massive sticker put up video. I don't know. So anyways, if you do want a sticker, they look like this. I'll put something up somewhere. And all you have to do, it used to be you could send me either a stamped self-addressed envelope or one of your own stickers. Now, if you want a sticker, just please send me an email and ask for one with your address and I'll get that out to you. And if you want, or if you have another sticker you'd like to put on my wall, we can do a sticker swap and you can, I'll mail you a sticker, you mail me a sticker. But either way, there's no weird stamp self-addressed envelope complications because it occurred to me that I cannot necessarily remember who I ask to do a sticker swap with and who wants to do one with me. So if I ask somebody if they want to do a sticker swap, then I send they, them one and they send me one and I'll get their sticker in. But there's no way to distinguish the stickers that come in, who I already got back with and who needs one to be sent to. So that occurred to me over the week. So no more messing around with stamp self dress envelopes or sticker swaps. Just send me an email so I know who you are. Um, anyways, uh, big thing just happened. My wood turning club, the Ma, the Ma, the Michigan Association of Wood Turners, is doing a move. We are moving from one location to another, and they're roughly within 20 minutes of each other, I think. Anyways, we have six full-size jet 16-inch lathes. Those all weigh about 500 pounds apiece, as well as a Powermatic 3520B, which probably weighs somewhere in there too. As well as one of those big bowl lathes with just a spindle on the end. That weighs easily a thousand pounds. And a giant metal lathe which probably weighs about a thousand too. And a ton of other big cabinets and stuff we had to move. And most of it has been put into storage because our new space is a little bit smaller. But all of the lathes, for the most part, the six jet lathes and the Powermatic are going to the new location. And we just moved a lot of this stuff last Saturday. So my back, I'm starting to feel it. That was not a fun time. The cool part was, we're going to be, um, some of this stuff will be in storage for a while because our setup now is this is going to be a temporary um, location for us and we will eventually move into a much bigger place. So for the time being, a lot of our stuff is being put into storage, but there is a dehumidifier, which is on the floor right now, that they were going to put into storage and I offered to take it because I have rust problems in my shop. I have two kerosene heaters and when it drops here in crazy Michigan winter, it'll drop down to about 10 degrees in the shop and these kerosene heaters will crank it up really fast because I have two of them and it's a very small, well-insulated room. And that massive temperature change will cause my tools to sweat and I get all this moisture in the air and it's a big pain when you're in the middle of a project and you come out here to a nice warm shop and you realize that you have to take the angle grinder and de-rust all your tools. And now I will just wax over everything. But the dehumidifier, whenever I turn on the kerosene, I turn on that with it. And I've already filled up the little drawer with water quite a bit from starting them up today. Side note, the weather here has been crazy. I am in the Detroit area. And the weather here is nuts. It is pouring snow about a week ago, maybe two weeks ago. Crazy blizzard just after we got nice, like, 70-degree weather. We had a couple 70-degree days. Then we got massive snowstorms and got 9 inches in the period of 2 or 3 days. After that, it all melted, and it's been 60-degree weather here, and now it has been pouring rain all day long, and it is about 50 degrees outside. So, Michigan weather is bipolar. <laughs> Anyways, I was just in the middle of turning a box before I filmed this. I'm going to get back into that. So thanks for watching, you guys, and I will see you all on my regular channel sometime soon, I guess. Take it easy.